Because this nigga got headphones on, nigga. He's the worst nigga with headphones on. Nigga. He got the deepest voice, so it's like. Is my mic on? Unfortunately. Hey, let's get it cracking, man. <laughs> TFB episode 198. Well, we got the board fixed. Uh-huh. All right, let's get it going, man. This is CW TFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside my right hand man, Cash. No motherfucking sense. Pray for the parlay. Mr. Pray for the parlay. You know what it is. What's up, man? We uh CW TFB Radio. Let's choose what the future brings. Um, black culture through black, music, yo. man. We in the Garage Media Center at the Sound Lab. Make some noise for the Sound Lab. Whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? Whoa. Like my man Cash like to say. We're creators, create this, this spot. We're creators, create, man. Shout out to all the creators in here. We got Nick Fury in the That's building. We got my man Boogie in the building. We got uh, Benita Applebaum. You got to put me on in the building. My man Khan somewhere. I don't know where he's at, but whatever team you on, you need a nigga like Khan. Uh-huh. My man Montega Mac in the building, man. Wiz in here, you know what I mean? This nigga Miles Carter in the building. Yes. I hate this nigga, but I love him so much, my nigga. I swear uh, he, to God, you nigga. Know, he might. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, further further information for later times. <laughs> you know, I, I'm a, we gonna have an announcement. Yeah. You know? yeah. And once again, we always got the team in here, man. Dawn for Prez behind the lens. Uh-huh. Brian Angel, Chino V, man. And uh, yeah, man, we moving, man. It's you know, one week you, closer man. to Sonya. Ooh, you know what I mean? 11 the slide. 11 14. We're less than two weeks away from that, man. Episode 200. Ooh. This is episode 198 right now. So that shit happened so fast. Facts. When did we announce that? 193 or something? 193. Like, that? like yeah. you know what I mean? And it's like 193. We're not even thinking nothing of it. And then boom, here right. we are. Here we are. Because you know why? Because it goes week by week. Yep. And you know what's going to happen over there, man. We got Feed the Family closing it out, man. It's going to be a live podcast. Nah, gonna We're going to have some Oompa special guests right, performing. Wait. Also, Oompa's going to be there, hosted by my man Alex J. Okay. My man Devo going to be on the ones and twos for all the music, mm-hmm. man. So I need everybody to show up. I need the whole we city to pull up, up for us, Tuesday, man. On Tuesday, on Dead Dog. On a Tuesday, man. We're going to turn Sonya up, man. Um, I'm excited for that, man. But how, how you, bro? How was your last week? Yeah, good, last man. seven days. I don't, I don't want to go straight up into all of it, but it's all Celtics, man. It's all Celtics. It's all Celtics hype right now, man. Okay. We're the best team in the league, man. What makes you say the best team in the league? Because I, I watch all the other teams. <laughs> I done bet on them, too. You know what I mean? And, and there's a lot of there's, there's a good team. There's a lot of young players out there, you know? And, and it's like right now, the reason why we're the best is because I feel like we have – one of the best players in the league right now, and that's in Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum? Jason Tatum looks like, and so far against the competition he's played, there's nobody on the court that could check boy. Like, really? Boy, nah, it, it don't look like there's nobody that could check him. It don't look yeah. like nobody that could check him. And, and, I, and we haven't seen a lot of the league. There's a lot of players. To, Who hasn't played, yeah, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if we're talking about what it looks like right now, they scored 150-something points. It was the second highest the Celtics have ever scored in the entire franchise. What was it? One, it was like one, 155. what? 155. We beat them by 51 points. That's crazy. Yo, Who's they playing? The Indiana Pacers. Oh, shit. Okay. Who have a reputation for having close games with us. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I somebody tweeted, yo, I'm scared of this game. I'm going to this game. I hope they win. I'm like, yo, we're going to kick their back in. <laughs> because it's because light skin. On fire, yeah. I mean, he's doing his fucking thing right now, man. And you see him show up to the school like that, yeah. yeah, yeah. You I didn't seen see somebody, Jalen Brown, right? I seen somebody that's post. because he's the chosen one. That's that's how they, I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna walk into Thanksgiving, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, Thanksgiving I mean, yeah, dinner. he's a meme now, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all about JT, man. The team is on fire, man. Nah, all right, that's what's up, man. What, what, other than that, man, what about your last seven days that you wanted to talk about, man? Uh, what happened in the world? Anything happened crazy? Nah, but last week's episode was fucking phenomenal, oh, my yeah, nigga. That's what's going crazy was, right now. Shout out to my man Rob, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk that shit, Rob. Rob. That shit's going to live yeah. in my mind forever, That's man. Rent yeah. free. That should be um, a drop. That was crazy, man. Oh, Gina can't be here tonight. She actually uh, um, sprained her ankle um, running from the ops. Mm. Um, so pray for Gina. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing. That's not how she sprained her ankle. Probably somewhere but she did actually. Circle. <laughs> <laughs> She did actually sprain her ankle though, but that's not why. But you know, so I mean, pray for Gina, make sure you know what I mean she get better and all of that. It's a sprained ankle, she'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be. But, um, but yo, let's get straight into the uh, ratings, man, because I want to talk to the guests, man. It's been a while. Um, 
So this week, just like every other week, man, we got two projects we're going to rate. Um, this time, we're going to start off with somebody who was actually just up here, man. And we're talking about my man Maystar. Uh, Shout out to Maystar, man. You know Maystar, we love everything man. that man does, man. Pause um, when it comes to music and all of that. Um, he dropped Eisen. This one, Eisen, is about 11 tracks long, 32 minutes. What you think, bro? I don't know. It kind of feels silly talking about it after we had the interview with him. But either wow. way, I'm just going to repeat a lot of the same stuff that I said. Because how I listened to it was from uh, last, from reverse. I listened from the last track up. And okay. it, it almost, like, it has an intro in the last song. So, like, you really could listen to it in reverse. And, like, that's the best way I listen to it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he. I, we talked about it, and he has ideas about doing, you know, we talked about how he has ideas of doing shit with it backwards. And um, the nigga, the nigga's just musical, man. He got jiggy rap. I feel like he's one of them kings of jiggy rap. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and, and I had a favorite song, Stealth, right? So Stealth Mode. Stealth Mode was one of my favorite tracks. Yeah. But then I started listening over and over to the joint with Felix. Okay. And that shit got Is that checking? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Felix, man, for real. And, um, oh, shit, I didn't know. Benita. Benita did the motherfucking Oh, she did the graphics for, for oh, hey, shout out to Benita. Up. That shit was fly. Hey. I hey. like that. I like that. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. I like Maystar, that. Maystar, Maystar is, you know. He's oh he's with the people, bro. He talks about you know chasing. He's not chasing the bag. He's chasing change. He's chasing growth. Word. You know what I'm saying? And I hear you, dog. I hear you loud and clear. No, I mean we, we all know Maystar could really rap his ass off, man. And yeah. um, not only can he rap his ass off, he knows how to like make a record. You know what I mean? Like a lot of niggas can rap but can't make songs. And he knows how to perform. Right. You know what I'm and saying? Like, and when you hear the music, you hear. The yeah, you hear the in performance them. in it. Um, yeah. From start to finish, right. man. I mean, like, I, I don't even know which one I like the most, but I love God Body, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, God Body. We God, God Body's fire, man. I love the visual he dropped. It was actually recorded in here in the Garage Media Center, man. Um, you know, he, he, he has those bars where it's like, you got to, because it sounds fun. Like, his music is like one of those, like, it always has a bop to it. But when you actually listen to the music, you're like, Motherfuckers actually rapping, nigga. Like, and definitely a message there. The whole concept of the album with balance, and you know, we spoke about this when he was here recently and things of that nature. Um, from top to bottom, he kept that whole theme going. And um, I mean, I, we, you know, we love Maystar, man. Yeah. We talk about Maystar all the time, man. As far as like being one of the guys that you know we, you know, we 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 see on the front lines and things of that nature, man. So I love this project, man. Yeah. You know, I will just say one little thing about it on the upside is that what i've figured out about me my opinion right, mm. is that i like theme albums i like an album that has theme throughout right you know what i mean i i understand a lot of artists are trying to show range on their albums it's okay like, i could do this and that you know what i mean and let me give it to you all on this one project and i understand that trying to grasp different fan bases and shit like that but <coughs> you can also st- you know, stick to a fan base. You know what I mean? Like, if niggas expect a certain sound from you or or something that's working already, then, you know, it's easy to... I don't think it's easy, but I think it's best that you do that way for the fans that you already pleasing. So what are you saying? Like, I'm trying to figure... Like, out. this album was all over. Like, it, it gave me... It gave me all over. And it's because he used balance. Right. He describes balance. And so that's why it makes the theme... The theme is balance. Right, right, right. right. So, but... That's because he named it that, but that's... I don't think so. I think I think this was just like natural evolution, bro. I think, you know, with Maystar, I don't think he was all over the place, like as far as like sounds and shit like that. I think this is just him evolving as an artist, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we've heard mad different sides to Dog, and that's because he's been making music since he was like 15 years old, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Like, it, it, yeah, so... You, but you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like artists putting out projects with the repertoire of just wanting to try to do everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get it. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just don't think this is that, in my opinion. I mean, got like you know, you. got you, got you. Um, that was just my opinion. But you know, I mean, for, this is something that I listen to all the time. 
Um, I don't even know why it took us so long to rate this shit, to be honest, man. I think it's just because he came up here and yeah, I mean, it just it was kind of like it right in his face. You know what I mean, pause. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's weird. You know what I mean? Because you know niggas gonna try to combat you and shit. Yeah, <laughs> it don't matter who it is, man. Like you know what I mean? They gonna be I like, mean, we did it before. Yeah, I think and that's all... why we ain't never doing that shit again. I know, I know, you know I, know, I, know, I, know. I know. Niggas always want to like, imagine a nigga not like it, nigga, be like, like, yo, fuck this bottle. Yeah, yeah right, right, niggas, right. Oh, I thought you wanted thirty-two bars, yeah, nigga. Yeah. You ain't getting shit, shit now, nigga. No more freestyle. No, no more red cups and rap. No nothing, nigga. So yeah, why is it cold in this bitch? Yeah, right, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Start finding them, something to complain about, nigga. Like why is everything red in here, nigga? Where you from? Like you know what I mean? Like you know. So oh, that dog. so now nah, we don't need that. But nah, shout out to Maystar though, man. Shout out to Maystar, man. Shout out to his son Cross, man. Um, Eisen is Cross actually his takes. son's middle name. Um, and I, I just love the way he plays this. You know. He keeps talking about himself as a new father, man. So shout out to Black Dads, man. You know that. Black Dads. We changed the narrative. You, Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, man. We here. Out of five red cups, we gave my man Maystar Eisen a solid 4.5. Out of five red cups, man. Shout out Maystar, man. Keep creating. Keep doing what you're doing, bro. We see you all the time, man. You part of the family, man. Um, so the next album, we're going to get straight into it. Um... This one right here is by somebody that ever since I heard him from the like first time, I always was really impressed by his ball work. Um, we talking about my man Kill the Artist. He dropped Side B. Side B is basically like a continuation of his nine hundred uh one nine hundred hustler project. This one's about thirteen tracks long. Stand from the man Hove. Yes, of course. I mean, clearly you know who his favorite rapper is. Like it's, it's, <laughs> There's no denying that, man. But um, side B is 13 tracks long, 35 minutes. What'd you think? I like to fly, fly away. away. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Yo, my nigga, yeah. look. Yo, the shout out to whoever got that sample together because yeah. I'm a Commodore. Yo, I listen to a lot of old school shit. Bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's crazy. I could go from some real violent shit to some... <laughs> Old school shit, my brain just yeah. work like that, bro. Like, I, I should be all shuffle, shuffle for real, like crazy. So, like, when I heard, when you that, heard that, yeah, I was like, this nigga, I could pass him the ox court every time. Facts. Yeah, you know I mean, like, Kill always got the, he always chooses the sounds that I love. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Now, like, his sample selection is fire. Yeah, like, the I don't, nigga, I, I don't know who makes his beats, but whoever they are, man. They be going crazy, and and he he be saying some shit, man. Yeah, like like that on that on that song on that in particular. Song. Yeah, like what you say, I put years in to get this. What you say that yeah. to to get these jewels? You yeah. bought that fake shit and that shit, boo. He <laughs> said opinions be hate most times when it comes from niggas that always waste time. Nigga. Facts, That's facts, always the truth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, damn, like. I I I love this shit. Like this was a good one. Nah, this. I mean, Kill got it, bro. I mean, like his, his pen game is crazy. Yeah, um, his cool. imagery is crazy. Um, when he, when, the way he kind of paints a story, and he um, mm. and he also just sounds like he's having fun with this shit too, bro. Like uh, he, you could tell he loves hip hop. Yeah, like, and I, I and I like you know the people that he keep around him as far as like you know the, the artists like Billy Escobar. He was on here twice. Yeah, um, you know, Goose Gust- Nero, Gustavo. Gustavo. <laughs> he's, he's, I told my dad you fucked up when you <laughs> named me Gustavo. <laughs> I love that boy, yeah, nigga. That's bro. great. Uh, yo, he got eight zip on here yeah, too, yeah, man. Yeah, shout he out to Zip. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, he knows how to put together a project. Yeah. One nine hundred hustle is my shit. Yeah, it I, is. You know, and I, I was still bumping that, and then he dropped this, and once I saw the cover. I was like, I feel like this is literally a part two, and then he's called it yeah, side B, side and here B. we are, man. Um, what do you feel like he could have done better on this? Um, we we talked about it. Um, I feel like some of the engineering was a little off, like yeah. the, the Eve sounding joint. I don't, I forgot. Yeah, what yeah, once, name. once, yeah. Um, it was a little off, and that wasn't the only record. You know, I I put the I put it to the test, the volume test, and it mm-hmm. really didn't pass it. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. kind of a little. Up and down, so like, you know, that was it, really. Engineering, in regards, I don't want to. Yeah, I agree. You know, I don't want to like 
hang the engineer. You know what I mean? No, I no, no but I agree. I agree. That's, that, that was really my only plight, man, when it came to this was the engineering on certain records because a lot of them were very, like, very yeah, it was sharp. smooth, very tight. Like, fly away, bro. Like That shit was perfect. That's I've been perfect. listening to Fly Away for, like, the last, I don't know, week and a half. That's perfect record. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's engineered meticulously, man. It sounds good. Um, I like the skits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the yeah, mad rapper yeah, skits. Yeah, the mad rapper. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you why I'm mad. mad. I'm, I'm going to tell you why I'm mad. mad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, I, I, and I like that he continued the whole 1900 one Hustler thing. He's a, he he loved 90. If you ask him when his when he fell in love with hip hop, he going to tell you reasonable doubt or somewhere earlier than that. You know Facts. what I mean? Like Facts. around that Facts. time. Yeah. It had to be around that time. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. I understand. That's when I fell in love with hip hop. Yeah, I mean, um, Solid project altogether from top to bottom. Um and, and he 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 fuck with Fearless, right? Fearless music group. Yeah, or, yeah, he's damn or, near or, or his shit or his shit's anti. Is that is that is that him and Billy shit anti? Or oh, now you confusing me. I'm not sure, but whatever. Either way, man. <laughs> Out of five red cups, man, my man killed the artist with side B. We gave this a solid four point five. Out of five red cups, man. Shout out to my man, Kill the Artist. Shout out to everything you got going on over there, bro. You know, we, we keep throw it up for you, man. Um, you know, I I just, I think, like, when it comes to artists like Kill, bro, it's just refreshing, my nigga. Like, it is. Because I ain't know nothing about him before, nope. you know what I mean? The first time we heard about him, and, like, I'm legit a fan now. What's crazy is, like, first I heard Goose, mm -hmm. and then came Kill, and then came Billy. Yeah. And I was like, wow, like, yeah. these niggas is, like, you know. Yeah, they got it. I love. Yeah, they got it, man. For real. Shout out to those guys, man. But let's talk to the guest tonight, man. Yes, sir. This guy, you know what I mean? This is somebody who's been in the scene for a very, very long time. He's been, like, consistently able to keep himself relevant and also just create at Always a high a level, man. Always a name that comes up. Oh, absolutely, man. You talk in, about in multiple this, rooms. You talk about this Massachusetts New England rap. Yeah, I mean, you, you're talking about back in the day when he was running around with the Chef Boys. You know what I mean? Now, you know what I mean? My man's doing records with everybody. Metro yeah. booming with Millie's, with, you know, Made in Tayo, whatever, and all of that. We talking about my man, none other than G.O.D. What's good, baby? What's on? Long time no see. Long time. Hell yeah. Long time. What episode was that? Episode 31. Wow. Early stages. We on 198. That's Who's crazy. in the hood, too? Fact, though. That's we crazy. Back in the hood too. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. The hood. I think this hill might be a little more dangerous than the hood that we was in. Before, nigga. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can be like, you on no, hey, I live on River Street. Damn. Yeah, nigga, yeah. it depends on what part of River Street you're talking about. Yeah. A lot of River Street is good. Closer to the pan, you know. We was in a luxury loft, nigga. Crunchy. Oh, yeah. I'm crunchy around that part. Yeah, I get what you mean, that Mattapan area. Yeah, yeah. It's tough to. Have to gentrify Mattapan, man. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's gonna yeah, take gonna figure it out, though. Yeah, it's you gonna know. take time. But G-O-D, man, how you doing, bro? What's new? I'm doing good, bro, you know. Consistently in the studio, working on new things, taking yeah. care of the kids, the usual. Yeah. The usual, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. The last time you was on the show, you had one kid, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, how, how old's your youngest? Uh, three. My daughter's three. three. Yeah. Damn, so it's been legit three years. Yeah, had a yeah. COVID baby. Ain't that some shit? Oh, yeah. COVID baby. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> me too, me too, me too. Yeah. My son's three, oh, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Michelle, for sure. Yeah. And them COVID babies. It's probably is a little bit right after me and you met. They go dead dogs, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said, nigga. I for had sure. one, too, nigga. Oh, shit, man. So you got a That's daughter crazy. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that like, man? What, what, you know Changed mean? my world, my perspective. Because, you know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a toxic nigga. So, like, wow. me having a daughter definitely, like. Wow. Uh huh. You know, line uh huh. Wow. I ain't gonna cap. Uh huh. That's yeah. why God keep giving me girls. That's why I'm scared to have more children. I, Nigga said, girl, so he had one. I got two. I got two. Got two. Oh, you got, got two? two little girls. Oh, the earlier I thought you said they're beautiful. Had yeah. yeah. He ain't got nothing else but girls. Yeah. yeah. Girl okay. dad for real. Beautiful that makes sense. baby girls. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I feel sorry for you. That's <sighs> close. I mean, this nigga's outnumbered like a bitch in his yeah, yeah, At least yeah. I got my son to like balance it out at home. Yeah. Right? yeah it's me yeah, and nice. him. Yeah. Versus my wife and my daughter, my nigga. Right, like, right, you know right. what I mean? Because once he that. starts getting a little stronger and older, nigga, we got this, man. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? But like, <laughs> this nigga's fucked. 
Yeah. <laughs> They gonna run you, gang. They gonna, they gonna love yeah, me. Yeah, my pockets is wide open. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. That's a fact. Yeah, but facts. you gonna be in the nursing home way faster than me. <laughs> I'll bring you food from home, nigga. That's a yeah. fact. That's a fact. Yeah, man. You gonna have somewhere to live. You're right. Yeah, You're right. that's You're crazy. Right. You're right. You're definitely right, Kids, man. man. Kids, man. Hell yeah, bro. It's amazing though. Yeah, it that's is. dope, man. Hell it is, man. Um, nigga. <laughs> What all right, so since episode thirty one, my yeah, nigga, like so much shit has happened. What the fuck you been up to, bro? Moved to LA for a little bit. Mm. Uh obviously, you know, the, the record with Millie's went crazy to love and hate. Went yeah. Number two on the hot one hundred last year. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Uh tours. When me and Millie's did tour in London, Manchester and shit, we went to uh overseas. That was my first time overseas too. Yeah. Oh, Ever man. in life. Ever in life. That's like you've it. never Stamped your passport prior to that. Nah. nah. Wow. Yeah, Did you even have a passport? Yeah. Oh. I mean, no, no. Before that trip, nah, I had to get one for this. Oh, wow. yeah. 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 That's sure. great. Life changing shit. Yeah, yeah. I went to uh went to London, Manchester, and then I went to Paris by myself. Like okay. shit just was crazy. Was like, fuck yeah, it. You was like, yeah. fuck it, you know what I mean? Yeah, bro, about here, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? facts. It was amazing though. You know what I'm saying? Definitely changed my perspective on life. I'm about to go to Tokyo next year for my birthday. So. Okay, oh, shit. I like that. The Asiatics. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to get overseas now. Like, yeah, ever since yeah, I experienced yeah, yeah. that. I heard, shit. I heard Dubai crazy, man. Yeah, I heard about that too, for I heard sure. Dubai crazy. I heard you can't fart over there in public. See, I ain't know all that yeah, extra I heard shit. It, I heard it. You heard about you heard about Burnham Boy turning down five million to perform in Dubai because they told him he couldn't smoke weed. That's tough. I ain't never heard of that. But that's the thing, though. I, like, I, I would, I would start smoking weed for five million dollars. For that four, one yeah, time, yeah, four, four, one night, I would do it for one night. Yeah, yeah. You just can't smoke out there. But you talking to a nigga with millions already, bro? Like, that's I, true. I, yeah, I think yeah, it's a different true, perspective. It's like, yeah. it's like, do I really want to be uncomfortable, with my nigga, yeah. just to go perform in yeah. Dubai? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. how far means, is the flight? You know what I mean? It's a grip. Nigga. No, I don't like that. I don't like long. You, you yeah, going long from flight, Africa? Yeah. I think that's the only thing I didn't like about like going to London and shit like that. How long was that flight? I think it's like. 18, 19 hours or something like that. Oh, we shit. had like one layover and then went over there, so it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. All right. It must be good. For what, what was that like though? Like what what was how how was you received out there by the fans? Oh bro, it was amazing. Like they was buying the merch like crazy, like embracing me. I didn't got features out there with a couple of the homies and stuff. Shout out okay. my dog Blaze and Chris out there. Oh shit. Uh, it's really real life top boy. Really? Oh, yeah. for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro. Yeah, I went uh, to the ends out there. You get me? Yeah. Yeah. It was fire, bro. No bullshit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nah, London was cool. Paris, I felt like it was like, they sell us a dream of like what that shit looked like. Paris, man, homeless motherfucker. Yeah, 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 bro. I heard it's dirty as fuck. That shit look like Mass Ave. It's, like yeah. it's like New York. In, in, nah, they cleaning yeah. up Mass yeah. Ave, bro. Word? Yeah, they about to let them niggas run up in your homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga lying. I already know he lying. Nah, they got rid of the tents. They got rid of the tents on dead dogs. They got rid of On the side street? On Mass and Cass, bro. They got rid of all the tents. They put up a new law in Massachusetts. They got rid of them. So now them niggas about to run up in your house. Damn. Nah, he not cabin because it's definitely about to be winter time. Yeah, yeah, where so they, they gonna go? Where they gonna go? Where do rats go? Yeah, where they gonna like, go? Like, you me? Like, you no know, bullshit. They like, gonna find something. Come on, they go. Come on. Yeah. No they bullshit. already ain't had nothing. Whatever they grabbed, it's dead. Yeah, <laughs> Come on now. No, nigga, no bullshit. I'm dead dog. That's just crazy. Yep, so, is filthy. So when you go over, like, so... You know, you experiencing that shit like that. Like, yeah. do you feel like that did something to your music when you came back here to Korea? Uh, yeah, 100%. Because I, I realized, like, every culture is different, especially, like, right. across the world. So it's, like, certain songs, like, I was performing out there, like, they kind of, like, knew some of the words to it. So I was like, whoa, this is the reaction to these songs that they're getting out over here. Right. So, like, now when I orchestrate these next projects that's about to roll out, it's like I kind of, like, implemented that in, in the music. Mm. You know, but it was fire out there, bro. So, so you mean like you know, like because I hear your songs now, yeah. and I hear like like we we're saying about the artists we we're talking about right. like performance, yeah, songs. I hear you like jumping on the stage. You know what I mean, like mm -hmm. getting the crowd into it. So you making songs for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To I don't know to an extent. Like my new stuff ain't really like that. I'm gonna be all the way honest. It's just me like being straight, direct, and forward. About can we can we have a conversation? So can I just get straight to it, man? Yeah. Where the right. fuck is the album at? <laughs> yo, listen, 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 bro, listen, bro, listen, like, listen yo, right? Bro, like where so, the boom. Yo. I'm gonna drop an EP end of this month. <laughs> okay. It's the end of this what year. What date? 29th. 
Okay. okay. After, yeah. Alright. Alright. And then right. right after that, I'm gonna do another one in January. I'm doing the album for Riff Run in March. Okay. So yeah. three projects. I'm, 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 in yeah. less, in, in I had to separate it. I had too much music. Thank you. Thank you. Know you. Since yeah. 2020, Nick. Nah, nah, you capping. I dropped one earlier this year in June. Which one was that? Real life. Real life. Yeah. That was I thought that was a a, a single. You got it on Apple. Oh yeah, single. You talking about project? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking, oh bro, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you made it seem like I wasn't dropping that oh, nah, at all. Nah, see, but nah. this is, all right, so this is the yeah. conversation that me and Cash be having, nigga. Like yeah. we be all getting. He's like, yo, dog, the nigga ain't dropped nothing since 2020. And I'm like, yo, but he's working. And yeah, he's yeah. actually dropping. Because the problem is, bro, I'm I'm gonna keep it all the way a thou wow, bro. The reason why, bro, it's like I'm working at an industry le level now, and okay. I'm fucking independent. I don't have no label behind me, none of that shit. And so I got to do clearances with samples. I got to do clearances with producers. Because right, right, right. all these producers are signed to labels and shit that I'm working with now, and even right. with features and shit, too. So it's like, I got to handle all that shit dolo. It's you not like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, so that shit take time. Yeah, I got a manager. Yeah. Oh, go, go. Yeah, right, for right. sure. But it's just you and your manager. Yeah, me and my you manager. You signing shit? No, nah, I've got offers and shit, so I'm but in the I'm process saying, of talking. Some, oh, yeah. Talking to a couple people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't count. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nigga licking the pet. Yeah. Like, yeah. What you got? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nigga, what you I've got? I've always been consistently getting offers and shit. It's just I ain't never seen something that, like, stuck out that I really liked. You know what I'm saying? Like, a couple, yeah. couple, you know what I'm saying, contracts said that perpetuity word. Yeah, You yeah. see that, nigga, mm -hmm. you run. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, hell no, you know? So I'm just focused. A, a lot of labels can't finesse me with this shit because I know the business. You've been in it for a yeah, while. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So I, I know what's good for me and what's not good for me. Like, when I see it's a partnership and they agreeing with the vision, then I'm going to go for it, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. I say you smart, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Still running around with the same guys you make music with, typically? What you mean? Like, uh, what, what's, what's Dog's name? Polo Summers? Yeah, Polo yeah, Summers. Yeah, of course. Polo's yeah. my brother. Till I die. No more. Right. Yeah. yeah. What, what, uh, what, what music y'all got cooking up, man? Uh, shit, Polo's working on his solo project. He about to put that out uh, early next year and whatnot. We always got music in the tuck. We got we probably got like two albums worth of music together. That's mm. serious, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm doing stuff with him. And there's way too many people right now I can name, like industry wise and not industry wise. People in the city, everything. You know what I'm Yo, saying? I like the um the Joiner Fest. <coughs> oh yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out to Joiner. Yeah, man. shout out to Joiner. Dogs. How does that him. shit come about? Like. Jordan reached out to me he personally. He reached out to you personally? Yeah, oh, 100%. Oh, shit, yeah. So me and him, um, actually, I can't speak on what the video was for. Me and him did a video for something. Okay. And uh, I don't know if it's coming out or not, but um, I did a video out. for something. <laughs> and then right after that, he had reached out to me. He's like, yo, I'm about to start doing this little fest joint. You know, like, I definitely want you on this shit. So I'm like, right, yeah, let's do it. Mm. But yeah, it's what, what was that at? What's the? Yeah, what, what, what venue? Uh... Was it Palladium or something? Yeah, Palladium, yeah, but yeah, outside. Right. It was yeah. outside. Though. Outside, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit looked dope, nigga. I'm like, damn, yeah. look at that. What was that like, man? G-O-D. I'm not even going to cap, bro. That energy was just insane. It looked turned up, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I Hell see yeah. you jumping, I'm like, yo, he can't help but jump. Yeah. But I, I'm looking yeah. at my phone like, oh, look at this nigga, man. Oh, that Hell yeah, dog. bro. Nah, no cap. That shit was crazy, bro. Like. I love that type of rush, bro. Like that's like a high for me. Like yeah. being on Saxons stage in, in crowds, the city, like, man. Yo, they don't nobody turn up like yo. No bullshit, man. Like yeah. black people don't know how to rage. Like we don't really know. We how don't to rage. rage. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't rage. We don't rage. Like that's not authentic. I mean, we stand off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, we paranoid. We black. <laughs> yeah, you know I feel mean? like, don't know what's going to happen. I feel like, man, with well, no paranoia well, well, is a dead people, man. They're man. like, I'm rich. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, was, like, that energy is like, I could see that. It mm -hmm. was like, it was dope to intake, and that's dope. Yeah, like, for that sure. Shit for nah, you, hell yeah, bro. Nigga. Like, me, I, I love doing that type of shit, bro. Like, Big crowds is really like where it's at. I'm not gonna cap because you see like the interaction in music, especially like performing for white people. I'm not even gonna cap. Like, no disrespect to black people, but like white crowds, you tell them niggas jump nah. and do a backflip, they gonna fucking That's do that. That's what I'm shit. saying. <laughs> like, nice. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Like, <laughs> yeah, like Raekwon, Raekwon tells a story about Steve O. So this method man about Steve O from Jackass. Okay. Was on stage and was like, hey yo, I'm about to take my clothes off, do a backflip, and when I do a backflip, I'm gonna catch my nutsack. Hey, yo, my yeah. legs. And then Method Man was like, hey, yo, go ahead, right? Pause, right? 
And then fucking Ray Kwan was like, hey, yo, after he did that, she was like, yo, I'm about to punch you right in your motherfucking face <laughs> if you don't motherfucking apologize, nigga. <laughs> like, hey, yo, like, yo, why are you so crazy, bro? Like, no, 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 no. Steve-O crazy, man. No, nah, white I don't people know all white. white. No, nah, all white nah, people nah, like Steve-O that, definitely niggas. a different level. Jackass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackass. Them, them niggas, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But niggas, you know, it wouldn't be black people on Jackass, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Right? There's always going to be a yeah, one yeah, nut yeah, nigga yeah, that go yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they do. Yeah, they got they that, one, that, that one nigga that's There's always that one nigga, no bullshit. Yeah, but they got to get paid first. You know, them niggas like... I'm nah, sure. nigga. Nah, I'm thinking <laughs> shit after I die. Like, fuck that. Yeah, nah. that's crazy. They, they really be them fans. Facts. Yeah. Nah, but um, so I mean, you know, three years has been a long time, right? Since yeah. we spoke. So, hey. um, what, what kind of like trials and tribulations have you ran through within that time, man? Because I know uh, life be life, and the niggas be making that shit look good, bro. Yeah, you know sure. what I mean. But Hell like, yeah. what 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 kind of obstacles have you faced within? That uh, time? I mean, music wise, I feel like I just always been, been elevated. Like I said, I think the as far as music business goes, the only thing that I've been dealing with is just the process of like dealing with my lawyer with certain shit and like clearances, samples, and all that. Cause that's delaying my music. I'm not even gonna cap. That's like the number one thing. Other than mm -hmm. that, everything else been smooth like these past couple of years. Like, yeah. yeah. Nah, but for real just though, like balancing personal life and music life, that, that's gonna be a continuing situation. Are you back here like, like full time? Uh nah, okay. I'm like halfway between here and LA still. Like, okay, yeah. I was gonna ask him my question about in regards to like what don't you like about this shit the most? Like for real, for real. I got a list. Not like the shit that you hate. Man. Top first, three. First Top off, three. First off, it's the uh, when niggas act like they don't know who you are. Ooh, that's like number one. Like, like what? What kind of niggas? Like. Like, it'd be, like, real industry niggas, and they be fans of my shit. Like, uh, know my songs, have it in their phones, all that yeah, other shit, yeah. and they act like they don't know who a nigga is in certain elements. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had a club or something like that. They'd be like, oh, yeah, buddy, buddy. But, like, if we see each other, like, I don't know, in a in more enclosed setting, they might act standoffish or whatever the case may that's be. That's weird like, as fuck. Yeah, that's Why do you way. think that is? Because Hollywood. Niggas just be Hollywood. Like me, I'm a I'm a, I'm a type of person. If I see, I don't care what environment I see you in, I'm gonna treat you the same type of love every single time. Right, you know be. what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm not gonna switch up because I'm around this rich motherfucker. Or I'm around this nigga, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna be consistently the same energy, same person, a time. Like I don't yeah. care what it is. So I think that's like something that I consistently deal with. Um, I'm trying to think of like two other things. Fucking uh, I don't know, bro. I said this music should just change niggas, bro. <laughs> Like, it really just changed niggas. Like, like niggas you know personally too? <sighs> all that. <laughs> all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been the same nigga consistently all the way. The only thing that changed about me is sounds. Mm. That's it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and that's all it should be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, business wise too, obviously. I but, mean, your bank account changed, nigga. I mean, yeah, that too. But, but no, like, that's what I'm saying. That's going straight to my kids. I, I barely spend yeah. it on myself outside of <laughs> studio time. Like, I don't, I don't like when niggas like you know when niggas come up from being broke and get money and fall off. I'm like, man. What you mean, get money and fall off? Like, oh, you mean like music wise? Yeah. Oh, all yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you doing nothing, like. For nothing, nigga. You doing music. Well, I mean, I think, like, that's a very, uh, it's a rare occurrence, bro. Like, for you to, like, forever get paid off of music and do nothing. No, it, I it's, mean. It's rare. Yeah. I like, mean, like. I, I mean, think niggas like, got to open up their mind and what they invest in, yeah. bro. I mean, also, like, niggas, niggas don't always be expecting to get paid from their music. That's true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. niggas don't always, like, they're coming in. So you make a couple hundred grand and then you, you go do some other shit is what you're saying, like, type yeah. shit? I mean, you should be doing that no matter what, just to, because at the end of the day, like, I already know, that even with me with this shit, bro, you can't rap forever. Yeah. So you got to take your money and put it in the other shit. Like, mm -hmm. you can't just sit and think, like, you about to be rapping until you 60, 70, 80 years old. For you what? think there's a shelf life on rap? 100%. Why? Why is that? I just think it's just, I mean, it, it's not, but it's just how you present yourself. It was Snoop still rapping, right? You know what I'm saying? Steve. Like, so I, right, it's so, just how you present yourself. So, bar, so barring the legacy rappers, yeah. right? Say you never pop, right? right. Uh -huh. For example, at what age are you saying I ain't doing this shit no more? Mm, anything thirty five and under. I mean, I'm oh, sorry, thirty five uh, and older. Be yeah, older, okay. sorry, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so thirty five is your cut off. Yeah, for sure. So if this shit's not going where you want to be at thirty five, you're like, I'm, I'm done. Nah, my shit's already. Oh, you saying like in general? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah, and I you're feel like ten you years in. 
Yeah. You, know, you starting like 10 four, years. This plus. thing is longer than 20 nah, years. Nah, 10 years for sure. You're 10 it's years 10 in? September this past year. Really? Yeah. Why do I feel like it's been long? I mean, maybe it's because I've just been around rap for that long. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, damn, nigga. I'm aging myself, nigga, with that shit. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> nigga. nah, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, but why 35 though? Like, what, what, why is that? You see what I'm saying? Like, like what, I, at nigga? 35, I mean, it depends. Like, if you're like 35 and just starting to rap, stop. No, it. no, no, no. That's, yeah. Fuck no. You're nigga. talking about like, if you've if been my man who's my age going, right now, yeah, I'm 34 and he's like, yo, I'm about to start. I'm like, nigga, stop. Yeah. Go I mean, join if you the union, battle nigga. Rapping, cool, like nigga, you know nah, you know the fuck that too. Nah, nah, nah. No, go I'm join the you. union, nigga. Hey. Go fucking learn how to put some fucking drywall up, nigga. That we shit, we need nah. that. We, yeah, we, we, we need about, niggas. We talking about hundred percent invested in something, and you doing it for ten years, and it's not paying off, nigga. It's gonna. It doesn't need to take you ten years. To realize that, nah, yeah. nah. Some some niggas it, it, it take that ten. Ten years? Yeah, Kendrick yeah, it took him to yeah. almost that. It you took him like eight, eight, nine years. Like yeah. you like got certain niggas, it, it take that. Like I'm really you. investing in it. Like really investing. Yeah. I mean, bro. I'm not talking about putting shit in your notepad. Like this is when this is when the clock starts. Right. I'm talking about like going to a studio, putting up your own money into it. Right. That's when I feel like you really invested in it. Yeah, okay, okay. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like right. I don't anybody could rap. Anybody could fucking rap. Right. But to really be a rapper and to get into the business, bro, you gotta invest in it. Yeah, facts. It ain't cool. free. It's not free, yeah, for sure. It's just not free. Just because you can rap, don't make this shit free, nigga. Yeah, don't yeah, nobody yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. There's more rappers than chairs. Yeah. I try to tell niggas. Mm -hmm. Niggas couldn't even play musical chairs. <laughs> That's not, nah, but the, the only reason why I ask that, man, is because you know, I always think about myself and shit like that when it comes to rap and shit like that. Obviously, I'm not a rapper, but I think about rap, it's always a revolving door of new niggas, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's getting as younger as and younger, as it should be, it's getting right? Younger and younger um, on a day, daily basis, right? But, um, like, so, all right, so for example, like, say, and not you specifically, mm -hmm. say a nigga, you know, do hit that, that. At you know, point in his life where it's like, all right, nah, nigga, this shit ain't for me, nigga, right? Uh -huh. Like, do you feel like there's enough people who are actually using their resources to like pour into the younger niggas out here who have reached that plateau? And I'm uh, not, you ain't gotta be specific, but yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I feel like that that's when it's like you should do that. Yeah. Like if you still want to continuously be involved with music, especially like getting closer to that type of age, if you're not already like a note, you know what I'm saying, notarized person or anything, right, right. you literally should just, you know what I'm saying, invest into somebody else yeah. and coach them through like the trials and tribulations that you just went through. I Make agree. sure they don't go through those mistakes or give them the resources so they can take it to wherever you couldn't. You I know agree. what I'm saying? Like I know like, like even like this is a random example, uh Don Tolliver. Don yeah. Tolliver's manager is the Cheddar the Connect dude, the one who oh, made really? look at the flicker the wrist. Oh That's shit, amazing. I ain't know that. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, it's shit. like he took his resources and invested into that. Travis Scott's way bigger than what he was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It's a situation like that. Sometimes you got to Scott. What Travis where, Scott got to do with this? No, not Travis Scott. I'm saying like oh, uh, you just Ch uh, Cheddar the Connect is Don Tolliver's man. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, right. I'm just saying like he Don Tolliver took it a little bit further than where Cheddar the Connector could have went. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying. It's like he, that song was hard though. Yeah, no, no. Look at the flick of the wrist. It was hard. It was hard. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> but it's like that. That's the situation where he right. like got to like a certain point. It's like, I'm gonna take the resource and invest into somebody else. And he took it further and he getting a bag off of that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that's what you gotta take. Game. Yeah, hell yeah. Makes Ain't nothing sense. wrong with supporting the young niggas on the come up. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you be looking at that type of shit? Always, for sure. I'm always looking for like the who the next person to pop is from over here and all that shit. I'm tuning everybody music over here. Niggas be thinking mm -hmm. I'm not, but I am. Who's the hottest young nigga that you that you pay attention to right now? Samba. Samba. Shout out my man. Of Samba. course. Uh, yeah, of course. Off real. All right, that's fair. That's yeah. fair. That's that's gang. Hell yeah. yeah. Gang, gang, and now I'm a tree, man. For sure, Samba's for sure. he's incredible. That nigga's yeah, he's amazing. He's like young. Yeah, man. facts. Yeah. 110%. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Nah, like, okay, I like that. No bullshit. Get him while they young. Pause. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this nigga's crazy. I know that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> like, you gotta chill out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no bullshit. When a when young gotta motherfucker chill. got talent, like, and, and you don't, like, like, push them towards that. Right. 
Like you, shame on you. Yeah, for sure. You know for what sure. I'm saying? Because that's yeah. God giving you a sign, motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? like, like <laughs> now nah, you're right. Yeah, you know I mean, you're push the right. young nigga towards the music. Y'all got any records? Of course. Yeah. Are they out? Yeah. Nah, not yet. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. They gotta come See, out. This though, for is sure. shit. He's hoarding, nigga. Oh, See? I'm stealing Samba's laptop. Nigga, <laughs> 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 stupid. Nah, but yeah, nah, yeah, we got records for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Super How'd records. you meet Samba? Like here? At the, at the Yo, lineup? you know what's crazy? Yeah. Shout out to y'all. Wow. I was here the night that Chava was here. Okay. okay. And I literally went upstairs just to go use the bathroom type shit and I seen J Rose. Shout out my dog J Rose. Shout out J Rose. J Rose. Rose introduced me to Samba, literally. Wow. Dead ass. That's crazy. That's literally how and it happened. And you just happened to be here because Chava was because there. Because Chava, yeah. For wow. Sure. That's literally what happened. Yo, we uh, the shit. Same night. <laughs> uh, last time I think we I nigga, see Shout out to us. Shout out to you, my nigga. Thank you, that nigga, yo. Thank you, man. That's literally how it happened, though. No bullshit. Shout out to J-Rose, too. He is yeah, a skinny shout food Rose, critic. Man. He the only skinny nigga I let talk about food. I don't like, I don't like when skinny niggas talk about food, but that's a skinny nigga. I let him talk about food. You know what I mean? Yeah, BMA nominated, man. Engineer no, of the year, man. Fact, though. Go vote for my guy. Absolutely, man. Hell yeah. But like, yeah, that's how it happened, bro. That's, 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 that's dope, man. Hell yeah. But but speaking of the BMAs, man, how you feel about the BMAs coming up, man? Yeah. Uh, I don't even like... Don't he know, hates his conversation. Really? Yeah, I just don't know. He's not on uh, there, BG. He's not on there at all? Nah, so, so the crazy thing is, I didn't... I was nominated last year for the first time. Yeah. Wow. And that really? kind of like... For the first time? Yeah. yeah, for the first time. And I'm not going to cap. I look As best new artist? Uh, hip hop artists and uh, song, uh, love and hate with Millie's. At least they didn't disrespect you. But it's just like y'all niggas knew about me all this time. Cut it out. You see, but that's not fair. Hey, y'all didn't. Y'all didn't want to nominate me till y'all see I had a, a crazy big song with Millie's. Like, it takes come on. time. That's not fair, Gio. You know why? Because no disrespect, but that's really what happened. Be, you know because what I'm saying? the people changed. Like, like the people who are who are like in charge of the BMAs changed right. from when. You first started doing music, bro. No, nah, I know that. You know I've, I've mean? seen it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I've attended it, I think, like, twice. Yeah. Before, you know what I'm saying? Before they, like, changed it. I think they, like, changed it, like, what? It was, like, 2017, 2016, yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's when they changed it up. I haven't been in tune with it since that point on, but, like, early stages of my shit, I was definitely there. Yeah. You feel me? So it's, like, but still, like, a lot of people who's on that board, they know who I am and no never chose to nominate me, nothing. I, I don't know it how many is what it is. I don't really care. It's not gonna stop or break my emotions. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, no. I don't, I, I, you know and that's always the story, right? Everybody yeah. says the same thing. Like, it's not gonna stop that. And I'm glad it will not because it shouldn't. Yeah. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, you know You do want to receive that hometown love though right. at the end of the day, you right. know. Right. And then nominating motherfuckers like Joyner and Bia who don't give a fuck about the BMAs. Right. And it's not to say that they don't deserve it, yeah. but it's like let's hone in on the people who are still here, yeah, yeah, right? Right. I think that's those are the things that kind of upset me a little. Yeah, where it's so like it's like, yeah, B and Jordan, they they out of here. Millie's he out of here. Like, right. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. we know them. Like them guys, they got national, international fans. Like, right. on a crazier level, you know what right. I mean? Why don't we talk about? You know what I mean? Who's next up to join that pot? Like, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, that's, that's my I mean, only. I feel like this year's probably, like, nominations is probably the most accurate that they had ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's still it's, off. It's going, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a still bit, more accurate. A little bit, yeah. but I feel like it's the closest that they ever Yo, been bro, in tune. It's going to get blacker, all right? Yeah. The BMAs is going to get blacker. I'm going to be straightforward, yeah. man. It's going to get some color, man. Yeah. Man, yeah. I promise yeah. y'all that, man. Because it's, it's, it's good representation for the town. Oh, absolutely. Like, 100%. Like, yeah, sure. like, niggas, yeah. you know, like, that shit is dope. I mean? So yeah. I like I like to see it. I like to see it. Yeah, but they just got to stop playing favorites. They going to get it right. They got to get it right. Uh, you know, it takes time. Yo, yeah, so I, I respect the platform because we need that, though, to, you know what I'm saying, like showcase the ones who are nigga, working. once I seen that we won, shit. like y'all and like, I thought, all the people, like they, like, at this point, they got to see every guest that we have. Yeah, for sure. Right? If they paying attention to us, they paying attention to who we got. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, you look at, nigga, they have Body Rock as new artist of the year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rock's been doing this shit. On oh, dogs, nigga. Oh, that nigga dogs, dropped yeah. like 21 albums, you know, nigga. He's a new like, artist. Hell yeah, he the most consistent. Yeah, yeah. so they want they want to grab they want to come to grips with it. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah, they gotta pay attention, man. But hell yeah. All right, so so back into the, your music, bro. Like, wow. yeah. what what's your? You say you was dropping something later this this month. Are you yeah. are you willing to tell the title? Yeah. Oh. Uh, to be honest, I'm figuring out the title when I leave here to go to the studio. That's funny as shit. Yeah. <laughs> you about to go record game? 
Nah. Oh yeah, with Gabe. Yeah, 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 yeah. do over dome, man. With K Selly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And projects uh, produced by K Selly, K Z, and uh, my dog Akachi. Okay. Yeah. How many records? Six. Six records. Yeah, just for the EP. Uh, you know, you know how minutes, bro. Is it more than fifteen minutes? I mean, for six, it should uh, be right. I don't right. know. We, we're making the last songs tonight, and and on top of that, naming the project tonight. So okay. all that's figured out today. You know. What, what do you feel like that's gonna like? What is that like? What, what does that feel like? Like this this project you about to drop later? Uh, it's kind of like a preview of what's to come. Okay. Yeah, that's really what it is. You rapping that shit? Oh yeah, for sure. It's a balance though. You know, like it's a balance of like. I feel like it's like the old me mixed with like newer me, but elevated. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically, sonically, all that. That London shit got you trippy, man. <laughs> Nigga said that. Nah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah. What, what, it was what, cool what, though. You know so, what I'm saying? So you, those are song that that played earlier. We was playing, and you was like, "Yo, turn that shit the fuck off." Oh, my business. Yeah. yeah. Why? Yeah, why? why? Like, why? You don't like all your old records? Uh, I think it's. I feel like every artist battles with this low key. It's like. The art, the songs that like put you on, like I feel like, like I, I don't like all the way no lit, uh, whiz like that, but it's like I feel like he probably sick and tired of black and yellow. Mm. You know I mean, or even the other shit. What's the uh, it's been a long day? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah that, I like, always hated that. Song. It's like he he got he got to perform that damn it for the rest of his career. Yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. that's how I feel about Maya Bennett. Yeah. I'm like, damn, like it's my. One of my biggest songs, I gotta continuously right. always hear this. You shit still out. getting paid off that? Nah, hundred percent. But, but it's saying, like, like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Saying? Like, you like, can't I'm just over that shit. Like, nigga really stood up like, hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> like listen to my new <laughs> shit. Was having you know a whole other conversation like, upstairs. Hey yo, hey, hold on, you, you heard that, that shit, shit came on. Now. He was like, nah, nigga, turn that shit off. I'm like, damn, yeah, bro. I don't. I thought it was the ops playing. It was him. Nah, yeah, bro. I just don't. I don't know. Like, I'm so like. It's just mentally where I'm at, mentally where I was there, it's like, it's completely different. So, like, I'm like, damn, like, the energy different, everything yeah. different, you know? Like, yeah. So, that's how I feel about it. I get that. Yeah. I understand the people who still like it, but it's like, damn, I've dropped so much shit since then, you know what I'm saying? Now, why like, did you listen to that? Yeah. <laughs> but I'd rather you listen to the newest shit because it's close to, to where I'm at right now in my life, you know? Now, are you gonna get like super personal in your, in your new music that's about to drop on the album? Not really on uh, the EPs and nothing like nah. that. Nah, yeah. When's the album drop? You said March. March. Yeah. You got title for that? Yeah, that's exciting for the hate. Excited for the hate. Yeah. Ah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Too. I like that man. Yeah, excited for, sure. for the hate. It's gonna be crazy. Is that it's something you see like within the industry? That yeah, I'm excited for it. Once you, once you, once, you, once that project drop, you're gonna hear so much shit like it's detailed, like mm. super detailed, like. Shit with labels, shit even with other artists, all types of shit. Like, Cause I'm gonna say, man, I'm not gonna hold you, God. Yeah. Man. Your name in the town is a name that everybody has to say, and I feel mm -hmm. like in the town when somebody feels like they have to say your name, that's gonna come with hate. Yeah, hundred percent. That's yeah, why I named they, the project that. Yeah, and like the uh. hate that I feel like it feels like niggas be like, all right, they got overrated. Right. Is this is the signal that I get? Right. Is when they talk about you. So how do you receive that? Coming just from taking and putting into the music, it's really nothing more you could do with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, you're not, I'm not gonna respond to every single okay, hateful yeah, yeah, comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't really care, bro. Like, as long as I wake up every day, my kids are smiling. That's yeah. all I care about. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, my and family with, good. That's all that matter. And with the features and and you, you know, getting on niggas' tracks, like, mm -hmm. do you be hesitant or you? Nah, nah, nah. It, it just really like if I fuck with the vibe or whatever they like trying to get me on. You know what I'm saying? Pause. <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> but nah, but nah, because honestly, man, like That's you crazy. just got a common hey. ass name. Like God is like your name ring bells, bro. Right. Like yeah, you know I man, around the town when it comes to this hip hop shit, when it comes to this rap shit, right? So niggas always gonna wanna, I'm sure, come knocking on your door, just wanna get attached. Yeah, you facts. Know what I'm saying nah, I, I, but I'm aware of that. Like it's not like yeah. I don't see that shit clear as day. Like. Yeah. Certain niggas that's trying to get around just to get the name stable to it to get, to get resources yeah, or these people just looking didn't at go them, behind yeah. your back to say you know he ain't even all that yeah, yeah. You know what to I mean? take like the resources that, that I, I'm aware of all that yeah. bro but at the end of the day niggas don't make better music than me or can't be consistent like me so it is nah, I like how you, I, feel I like grow you with my music yourself. I grow my life every single year you feel nah, what I'm saying you separate yourself nigga yeah. I feel like you out of touch bro yeah like nah I'm not I promise you I was about to say like yeah I'm definitely not.
Like I feel like I'm I, in tune with everything. I, I know I like shit that, that too. niggas think I don't pay attention to. That's I'm what I'm saying. I feel like you Pulse. don't pay attention to a lot of what's going on. <laughs> I'm saying some wild shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 now the woods that I feel like DLD gives off the persona like he Hollywood. I really don't though. You I think that like, people view you like that? No, you you want the thing is people view view me like that because they don't talk to me. Yeah. Mm. You talk to me, you going to see I'm not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like, so I, I don't get that vibe because we yeah. vibe, right? So I've like, gotten that verb like niggas and said like somebody uh, said that to yeah, me. Yeah, like he's oh, Hollywood. Yeah, oh wow. Like, yeah. You know what I mean like and, it, and mind you, it's probably a person I haven't had a conversation with in like three or four years. They probably, I, I, I was Because like, I haven't been living here. I've been living in L.A. Right. So like. I was like, we got him. <laughs> I was like, saying? we got him. We got him on the schedule. You mean, have you ever spoken to him? I was like, mm, man, you know, mm, one of them fake shits. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm. it's nobody that really knows you. So it's somebody who's just looking from the outside in. Yeah, facts, facts. I mean, so mm -hmm. from them, they're like, you know. He's Hollywood. You know what I mean? That's yeah, nah, bro. So, I'm, a, I'm humble, bro, in certain aspects. Like. Other things, it's like, I got to pop my shit because, like, niggas ain't about to play with me. Like, I got all types of accolades. Yeah, fuck it if a nigga like, right, 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 <laughs> you right. Been like, doing this shit. Hell yeah, you know? But it's like, I'm far from Hollywood. You just got to have a conversation with me. Like, come kick with me, come vibe with me. You don't understand. Like, I'm really not no Hollywood-ass nigga. Was you nah, there's other niggas really Hollywood. But I'm not going to talk about it. Like who? I, don't, I just said I'm not going to talk about <laughs> hey, yo, what's, yo, what's Hollywood even mean? That just mean, like, you just act, you just act uppity, nigga. Like you just fronting. Uh, nah, not necessarily. It's just more so like I'm trying to figure out. It's just, right it's just like you too it. good for niggas. Type yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. like, 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 like you, you don't feel like you my can't time. be in like no yeah. nobody's yeah. presence type shit. Like yeah. you feel like you above everybody. Yeah, I feel like, like that's because niggas don't get robbed enough. You know what I mean? 100%. <laughs> nah, I feel like robbery is so low. Yeah, it's at an all time low like, right now. I mean, I just feel like. It's kumbaya shit. Yeah. It's not like, you know what I'm saying, like back in the day in the 90s where niggas get their gangster tested. It's like. Yeah. yeah. That's what like, it is. You know, niggas really just get killed in these robberies, bro. They always yeah. robberies gone bad. Yeah. I hate these, bro. What happened to a clean, good old robbery, a good old jux? Because niggas don't respect mean? the jokes no more. That's, like, that's a fact. You know what I mean? that's like, a fact. Jesus, bro. Sometimes like, you just got to get got. And, like, it is what it is. You'll you get it back. Know, give that up, bro. Yeah. I'll yeah. give you one life. You see how much the jeweler had lined up. You could go buy this shit again. Fact. Like, Especially you know? if you got an insurance yeah. policy. Yeah. You didn't have life lined up. Yeah. You didn't show you another soul, nigga. You're like, hey, yo, you know what I really got back here? Yeah, yeah. yeah you get another yeah, life. Yeah, nigga, yeah. You Cubans, lose, nigga. <laughs> yeah, man. All Cubans and Rolls. You know what I mean? So sure. go ahead, bro. That's shit no, crazy. You only shit. live one life, man. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You gotta live it to the fullest. No regrets, you know? No regrets. Yeah. Do you feel like you have any regrets, man, along your journey? Uh, nah, not really. For what? It's like everything made me to where I am today. Like, mm. every mistake ended up becoming a positive. So I don't regret anything. Like, mm. certain things was lessons that I had to learn. Other things just like, damn, I got to take it as a loss. You feel what I'm saying? Like, everything. It is. Everything, bro. Like, mm. every, like, nah, not everything. You know what I'm saying? Like. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I you got in order to live. Jay said it best. You gotta learn to live, live with regrets. regrets. Yeah, you yeah. Gotta have so you gotta have a, you gotta a regret. Have something some you gotta. I'm telling you, I don't have. None. Even if you living with this shit, that don't mean it's not a regret. Right? I have none. I promise really? you, none. That's interesting, bro. Yeah. You you ever it, you <laughs> you ever feel like yo, this nigga fronted on me early on, nigga. When it's my turn, nigga. They better not come back. Uh, couple of labels, yeah. That's okay. it. But like, no, no, no individual. Nah, nah relationship. Nah, nah. I don't think it's no individual, really. But labels, yeah, for sure. Well, all right, well, yeah, you know. But you always got treat labels like that. Yeah, fuck yeah for sure. don't give you a know, fuck about. Certain don't labels fuck about don't niggas, see the bro. business, yeah. so it is what it is. But I mean, like, like, it comes more with relationships. You yeah, know? that yeah. too. It's like yeah. it's like you know. How much you give a person sometimes, you know? Right. That should come back to bite you tenfold. And it's like, if you never gave them that much. Yeah. You know, and looked at it a different way. You know, there's some shit, man. There's some nah, shit, I feel man. you. I feel you. There's some shit, man. Relationship-wise, because that's the biggest thing in this world. Mm -hmm. You can't buy that shit. Love, nah, all that shit. You can't that matters buy in everything, bro. Yeah, it don't so matter what it is. that shit right there, man, that shit is a controller. Mm -hmm. no, that's so a like, fact. So when that's you talk about that, you talk about relationship, man, like, there's some shit. 
I don't know. I would have dialed back on, man. Like what? Give me an example. I'm asking you too much personal shit. My fault. Yeah, man. yeah. It's more yeah. like just the way he said it. I, I knew it was super no personal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. <laughs> yeah, my fault. My fault. I mean, I you. Should, I well, know. I opened the door. My yeah. fault. Yeah, I get it. All right. I well, to it. pivot, that. I thought we was about to have a therapy well, know, session. Well, nah, yeah, nah. like <laughs> tell me about your problem. <laughs> Who we facing? Like, how does that make you feel? Right. No, like, right. Like, like, go ahead and put your feet up. Fuck chips. Yeah. Feet up. Well, do you feel like there's any relationships that really helped propel your career that that you um, would want to shout out right now? I think for sure, for sure. Uh, what the fuck? My fault. I'm gonna call. This ain't important. Famous. Um, but uh, I'm trying to think. Shabazz, shout out Shabazz, Shabazz is over. Shout out Shabazz, oh, Shabazz, man. Shabazz. Um, my OG from the West Coast. Um, oh, you're not talking about Shabazz Napier? Nah, nah. Oh, shout out to him oh, too, though. Shout out to him too. Shout out to him too, though. That's um, what I thought you were talking about. Nah, nah. DJ Shabazz, he's from the Bay. Oh, okay. okay. He was the first one really to bring me out to the West Coast. That's how I got my love out there and shit. So, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, him, my uh, my dog Solomon. Uh, Trying to think who else, like it's like behind the scenes. Um, my dog Dev. It's really more behind the scenes people. It ain't really like, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. uh, like people on the floor. People who just got your names in rooms and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, what do you see G O D man in like a year and a half from now, two years, man? Uh tour, literally like me as the headliner. Mm. Um with all these projects and stuff that's for Listen, I'm, I'm definitely trying to plan that out for next fall. So uh, I think that's the main thing, for sure. Uh, tour the projects out, consistency. Because this next year, I plan on, like, I don't really like to compare myself to no other rapper, but, like, I'm about to make this, like, how, like, Future was, like, consistently, like, back-to-back -back with projects and just super flooding type shit. Like, that's, that's the next era of me that everybody's about to get. Right. Yeah. Okay. I like that, man. Yeah. So, so I just I, feel like that's the number one thing that people hear, like, within mass culture, like, hip-hop culture is missing. There's only, like, a select few, like what, you said earlier. Like, Corey, like, that's consistency. Yeah. yeah, for sure. But I tweeted this. Uh, I'm from the city where if you're too consistent, it's going to aggravate niggas. Yeah, for sure. And and that's what it does. I think, nah, I think in this city, if you're too consistent, it only aggravates the niggas who don't really care for your sound. The niggas who's wasting time. Nah, because I, th I think it's like, nah, I don't think that's fair because if you think about, if like, you, like, like, let's use Body Rock as an example. Huh. Body Rock's fan base has only gotten astronomically bigger. Yeah. Because of his because consistency. Because of consistency, right. for sure. That's yeah. what I'm so, saying. But I'm saying, but if you hate a nigga for his consistency. That's lame. That's, bro, that's, you are a nigga that wastes time. Oh, no, nah, yeah, that's a whole nigga, yeah, yeah that's a whole yeah, nigga yeah, mentality. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. But nah, I, I mean, mean, you I, ain't gotta like it, but you gotta respect it. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, talking about—the sure. respect part. Yeah, just that respect part. Yo, that nigga's consistent. Right. Niggas in this town will be like, "Hey, yo, this thing get on my nerves." <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel you. I, I I feel like people feel like that same way about my own shit. But it's like, are you gonna focus on the hate or the love? Right. Yeah. You got. I like. I like both. Nah, yeah. You need both to like stay both. in line. You know what I'm saying? But like, the hate should fuel. You doing everything for the love. Mm. That's that's really what it gotta be, you know. How, how do you decipher like who you allow to come into your space in your bubble? Like, uh, you know what I mean, because I know creating and and um and just personal vibes are, like two completely different things. You yeah, know what I mean? for sure. I mean, I think I just got like a good balance, like. Cause me, I can I can work in any type of environment. Like I can work in a studio with hundred bitches. I can work in a studio with hundred goons. I can be in a studio by myself. Like, hundred bitches sound better. I was about to say, don't that sound like a better environment? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's how the LA sessions. Be. You'd be like, bitches, you know. what y'all think? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not like closed off to like, yo, like I can't work in this type of environment yeah. or whatever. Can't. Nah, I'm smooth. Like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like. It just depends. Like I said, I just have to fuck with whatever we creating. Mm. Like, I'm not the type of person that's going to create just to create. Like, it got to make sense. That's real. Yeah. I like that, man. Yeah. 
So yeah, man. I mean, like, why why'd you feel like right now was like a good time to come on CWTFB Radio, man? Bro, it's just like everything that's coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, it's shit that y'all got coming up. It's like, why yeah. not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Reunited yeah. and it feels so good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That dog. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of <laughs> fact, last time you was on the show, Cash wasn't even, I didn't even have yeah, a call. Yeah, yeah, Cash, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. no. Nah. I wasn't even, your yeah, nigga. Yeah. I was like, this is shit this nigga got going on is L, nigga. Yeah, episode yeah, yeah, 31. Yeah, right. And Wait, I appreciate hold on. How did y'all two meet? I've known this nigga since we was teenagers. No, but I'm yeah. saying, like, how did y'all come to line for the, for this? Oh, he was like, like, how did you invite him? Oh, the, the original idea was for him to do this with me. Oh, but okay. But he a funny-ass sure. nigga. You know, be your own niggas that always fun oh, on dog, you and oh, shit. Dog, like, you know what I mean? Like, so, like, yeah, yeah. he didn't see the vision. That. He was like, nigga, you ain't shit, Chiz. Nobody cares about you, bro. You haven't rapped in 10 years. Why would you start a music podcast? He didn't say those exact words, but yeah. I'm sure that's what he was thinking. Nah, that's what he was saying. Like, you know what I mean? So, so nah, it God, didn't happen. Nah, look, look, look. Look at him. Look at him. Look. Once you I figure that out, shit, I was looking for him to get the invoices rolling and the bills oh, paid wow, first. Wow, like wow, once I realized wow. the nigga could, money first. Once uh, I realized the nigga could consistently pay the like, bill, <laughs> like he could pay the bill. That's he's crazy. Going. I'm like, yo, hey, yo, yo, you gotta watch out for this nigga. Like, no, nah, that nigga was like, I don't have to contribute anything. Right. Right. So I just like, have to. I just, I just gotta show drinking. up and talk but say, and drinking. drink your liquor. <laughs> but what I say drink, less. <laughs> what I start doing? What I start doing? Yeah. Well, what you start doing? What I start doing? Uh, just start showing up. I started bringing chicken, nigga. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. You know I mean? I yeah chicken, yeah, chicken. Chicken, nigga. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? Yeah. 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 Can't go wrong with no yeah. fucking chicken. Nigga. I was telling my wife, I was like, I'm having too much fun. I was like, there's no way I can't break something. I had to get a whole another co-host. I mean, shout out the bells. Um, and then it wasn't until the end of 2020. I was yeah. like, this shit is when dope. he actually came on board full time. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you got to sure. do something for a whole year for your niggas to believe in you. Yeah, but I was there, yeah, though. Yeah, I was man. in the crowd. Yeah. Yo, bro, question. You never thought about doing stand up? Nah. I feel like you could do that shit on dog. Yo, everybody says it. I say I it feel too. Like just try it one time. Gang. You got to write some material. I think yeah, you could do it. Bro. I think you could do it. Send a mirror for I like. Think so. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, you can just do, do it. your whole skit, bro. Like I promise you. I'm gonna just I'm gonna fight the first person. <laughs> <laughs> and if that shit start going wrong, like, <laughs> the first thing is like as soon as that shit start going bad, I'm just gonna make a scene. I'm going you can, viral. You can, you can start on, way. You can start on episode 200. Uh, you can nah, open up the show like that. Who man. knows? Who knows? Who yeah, knows? Man. Who knows? That'd man. be fire. Who knows? Man? That'd Hell be fire, yeah, bro. I, mean, you guys, you I can see you doing that shit though. No bullshit. Everybody I've says it, bro. Yeah, yeah I've heard that. I've heard that. I mean, so yeah, it's yeah. Like, yo, you might be on to some shit, man. That's one thing that it don't matter age, nigga. You ain't gotta be no young nah, nigga no to bullshit. do comedy. No bullshit. Yeah. In fact, niggas who actually have a little more experience make the best jokes. Yeah. I mean, cause you done seen some shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, no bullshit, yeah. man. Almost you got a favorite comedian, nah? Dave Chappelle, man. Of course. I mean, yeah, Chappelle's yeah, yeah. golden. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, Chappelle. You know I, mean? I mean, and then Chris Rock. Yo, Chris Rock's Chris Rock is great. It's yeah. funny. I mean, For and sure. then this, this Cat Williams. Great. You know what I mean? I don't find Kevin Hart. I like Kevin Hart. I don't like He kind of overrated like a little bit. I think he's just really, he's way more obnoxious than he is funny. Like, I yeah. like the Murphys. I like both Murphys. Yeah. yeah. Charlie yeah. and motherfucking Eddie. Yeah. I personally think Charlie low key. Charlie's funny. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, he just didn't have as a, a glamorous ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. When his type of saying, funny like, is the funny that I know. Like, yeah, 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 like yeah, serious yeah. type. Yeah, you know what I mean? Telling story yeah. type yeah. funny. You know hell man? yeah, hell yeah. Because I'm a storytelling type nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I feel like you were, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, though. Hell yeah. That's a good look. That's though. dope. Hell I appreciate yeah. that. Back though. Is there anything you want to, like, you know what I mean, besides the music? Mm -hmm. I mean, anything you want to definitely touch on, man, tonight, uh, man. It's like Boston hip hop, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like how the culture's doing right now. How what are you feeling about it? I think the culture's great. How do great. you feel? How do you I feel like it right it? now. I, I do too. Great. I feel like we have the most artists we ever had, the most consistency we ever had. Yeah. So like, I think on a national level, we, we, we look the best that we ever did, bro. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, it, it, I still don't feel like we have our sound yet, though. No. I don't think we need one. We do. Do yeah, we? we do. Why? 
Cause, cause everywhere, uh, like Detroit has a sound. Yeah, that's all I was say. At, like all the major, and, and, and all the that, major and, cities always have a and sound. And when did that happen? When did Detroit get a sound? Recently. All right then. Yeah, facts. So why can't we have a fucking? Yeah, sound? we need a sound. I, I feel like it's the only thing that's stopping us. You see, but Detroit, oh, pop, so New York, New York got their sound. That's not fair though. So Detroit, Chicago, Chicago it the, it it's the Atlanta. It's the beat. I don't think I think yeah, I don't think production. that's fair to say yeah. because think about you think about like a nigga like Deuce Deuce, right? right? Uh well Duke Deuce my fault I said his name right yeah, yeah. wrong Duke Deuce the, the producer mm-hmm. he's basically just reinventing crunk music yeah facts you know what I'm saying so that's not his town sound or his region nah, it from is. it's from Memphis crunk is is an Atlanta thing right nah it's Memphis it, it's always been Memphis yeah it's always been Memphis so why did Lil John run with that shit and like make it happen like like crunk was all, I thought crunk was Atlanta nah Lil John kind of like ran with it from Three Six Mafia. Low key. What three six? He just, he just added an Atlanta sound, touch to it. But the three six create crunk music. Was that like this I shit? Heard crunk I don't know. Three six first. That's yeah, what I'm was saying. It? Was it? That's what I, I feel. I feel like, like too. No bullshit. Like. All right, so I might be on some shit. Yeah, but but right. I feel like you know what I'm saying like Lil John and them kind of like collab their sounds in a way to make his own. Okay. He, well, all right. So let's think about Detroit prior to recently. Yeah. Those other rappers from Detroit who was always fire. Yeah, right? facts, facts. Hey. But they didn't have a sound then. Like nah, every yeah. every big name Detroit artist that we had then was very different. Yeah. Facts. Eminem, Royce, yeah, Big Sean. Yeah, you know all of them mean? sound different. Yeah, yeah It was sure. wildly different. Yeah. They was so, all lyrical. Bro, though. it doesn't hurt to have a sound. Yeah. What I'm don't. saying, I don't think it's necessary. Though. Nah, it definitely is. Yeah. No, bro, yeah. Houston had chopped and screwed. I, I just, I no, just think it, you like it's necessary. It's fuck no. But it sounds, you know where yeah, it sounds? In their town, nigga. Facts. What are you talking no about, bro? I just think it's necessary just to be like, so we can have a distinctive, something that did like, you know what I'm saying, that I get signifies it. our culture. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Bay Area got their own sound. Yep. LA got their own sound. Yep. Atlanta got their own sound. Detroit, Chicago, New York, even Miami got their own sound. We don't have a distinctive sound. I feel like that's what we're missing. I think what, what we do got you think, the artists. Don't get me what, wrong. What do you think? Sound. What do you think that would be though? I don't know because there's so I many. To be quite honest, I, I personally don't even think our generation is gonna figure that out. It, that's nah, what I'm saying. I don't saying. think it's gonna be us. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be us because I think about like I. Right, so I think about a nigga like Moolah Mitch, right? Yeah. Shout out my man Moolah Mitch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moolah. He had a record. Um, side street, mm-hmm. side street nigga, right? I heard it that he dropped, and the shit went viral on Twitter by accident. Yeah, somebody was like, "If Boston was to have a sound, this, this would be sound it." Like, yeah, and um, I think that was Jeremy who tweeted that low key. Yeah, see, but <laughs> it worked. <laughs> but that's like a hood nigga Boston sound, yeah, right? Yeah, facts, and yeah. I think about like everything else that's coming out right now. That's I mean, but you got all them other cultures from this hood nigga sound, yeah, bro. <sighs> Yeah, yeah I guess you're yeah. right. I guess you're right. LA's hood nigga sounds Chicago, game nigga sounds. Right. Chicago, Chief Keith right. and all yeah, the drills. Right. Like, oh, bro. Even New York right now, it's bro. all hood nigga sounds. All right, so what's stopping niggas from creating that sound? Like, I you just know think niggas mean? need to find, like you said earlier, the production. production. Niggas need to find. It's all about the production. It's, it's half, though, because it's the production, but it's also how niggas talk on it. Yo, bro, one producer, it was one nigga from Houston. It was one producer from Houston that figured it out. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Right. It was one DJ. DJ. Oh, yeah, DJ. Because it was different producers. Yeah, screw. Yeah, shout out screw. He dog. literally just slowed everything yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and like chopped that. it up. But it's, it's the genius of that. That. Yeah. It wasn't no genius. Them niggas was high out their mind, my nigga. What are you talking about, but, bro? Yeah, but the high, high <laughs> like, times you know create saying? great ideas. <laughs> Shit, like, no bullshit. Yeah, yeah, I'm telling you. I hate Chop the Screw music, nigga. <laughs> that shit sounds shit. terrible. I nah, I feel you. I can't, fuck, I can't listen like to a whole it. project of that shit, but I, I listen to a song like for it, sure. But yo, my nigga, if you think about it in the amount of... We're talking about a business, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. We're like talking about a business. Cause it, like the way the sound sells, yeah. it's because it sells. Yeah, facts. It's not like because a bunch of niggas like it, it's because a bunch of niggas buy it. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like Cause in it, it go mainstream. Me personally, like just as a kid, I don't think I heard it go mainstream until I heard it still tipping. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but he only heard, did it, he only did the chop screw on the hook. He ain't doing yeah. it on the verse. See, but I was gonna say we we heard 
the radio version. Yeah. Like like what Houston heard before that shit made it to, to all airwaves. Yeah. Was a completely different. Yeah, song facts, 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 facts. Like right, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So they like, had to make it. They like, had to commercialize yeah, it a little bit. Facts, you know what right. I'm saying? So it's listen, you know what I'm saying? Like all listeners. It was listen to, it was listener friendly at that point. Right. Where it was like like <laughs> that shit was terrible. If you heard the original still tipping, nigga. Mm -hmm. My God, nigga. That shit just it, yeah, whatever. You had to be but on I lean to it, fucking though. to like that yeah, shit. Yeah, facts. Like, I mean, I was a lean sipper at one point, so like, I get it. Nah, man, yeah. whatever, nigga. But I mean, I feel you as far as the Boston sound goes, though, man. Um, yeah. I mean, like, like I said, I don't, I don't think this generation gonna be the one to find it. I don't even think the next generation gonna be the one to find I it. Think nah, we, I think it. Will I think be. they're gonna be closer, but I don't think they're gonna I be. I think we're just. It. I think us. We are too attached to uh, hip hop, older hip hop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and hip hop's young. Yeah. So we got to let it get older, bro. You got to yeah. let it get older. Shit's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, I think it comes with a new artist. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it comes. I don't think the sound comes from an older artist. Nah, uh, I don't know. It I don't can know. Be half I feel half. like it goes, goes hand in hand. Like, when Chief Keith came in the game, he came in with that sound. Yeah. And then, oh, Chief Keith. Yeah, they right. ain't seen the dirt. Yeah, I'm saying, else yeah, 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 yeah. Herbo and all those you know guys. I mean? Yeah, so it's like, it's like just like Miami shit when when fucking when Luke when Uncle Luke started doing that yeah, shit. That's when he started seeing Trick Daddy. That's when yeah, everybody yeah, started doing yeah. that Remember shit. Remember, take it to the house. Yo, yeah. yo be that New Orleans, nigga. Yeah. When Master P started that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nigga. Then you got Birdman and all that other shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I feel like it comes. With the artists, you yeah. Now nah, I mean? you're right. I think it, but like I said, I think it's half and half production and artists. You know what I'm saying like production too. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because like, what was uh, Manny yes. Fresh made the production? That's what like, the same culture. Cash you know Money had Manny Fresh. What, what did yeah. No Limit have? Who was their producer? I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, Someone uh, didn't know. get paid enough. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even. We know. don't. We don't silk the shocker. Yeah, and he's thanks. rated top five worst rappers of all time. I don't disagree. Mm. Yeah, he was terrible. Yeah, he's right? garbage. Silk the shocker was bad. I feel like he was like the G Herbo at that time. Uh okay. But G Herbo cleaned it up. G Herbo, he cleaned it up. G Herbo cleaned it up. Herbo cleaned it up. Herbo doesn't do it. All the time, he does it in between bars. Actually, yeah. Silk did it all, all the time. The time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. So it was like my my brother's rich. It doesn't matter. I don't have to rap on beat. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think he said. Nigga? That's what all I heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been one of his best bars if he said that exactly. Right, nigga. Right, no right, bullshit, right. nigga. He was not that good. Like, whatever Master P did, that nigga was right there. I was like, Is what? that really his brother? That was his little brother? I thought that was his brother. I thought brother. that was just his man. I thought it was. No, I thought that was just like his, his man. His little man, nigga, sure. yeah. I, th I, I know, you know, C Murder and. Uh, yeah, C Murder definitely his yeah. brother, for sure. Nah, I think they related. I know something. I don't know. He might be like a cousin or some shit. Like, yeah, I don't think that's, yeah, the only, yeah, that's the facts, only facts, way facts, he got yeah. money, bro. Yeah. It's so, yo, Master P <laughs> wasn't paying nobody if you. He Niggas had it. movies and some more he, shit. Yo, his son is begging for money on the, on the internet. Okay? <laughs> I knew he was right, going to say right, that shit. All right? His son is begging for money. Yo, yeah, this right? nigga is crazy. He's dying for <laughs> money, nigga. Right, yo, <laughs> so, as far as like, all right, so that, that made me think about, you know, No Limit and how they trans, transgress into, like, film and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Would you, like, want to get into movies? Oh, yeah, or, I already planned yeah? it out. I'm doing, I don't even want to talk real about nigga, it. nigga. Yeah? You nigga, got something yeah. that's, like, you in the works with it right now? Been plotting it. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Is it going to be like a series or a movie? Uh, That's what like, I'm on the fence about. It's like I'm trying yeah. to debate where it should be. Like, But yeah, it's going to be. Do all that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do yeah. all that shit. Yeah. That's where it's at. What, what, what do you think would motivate something like that for you? Uh, Would you like to watch? Just, a, just the consent of like. So it's going to be like a biopic pretty much. Okay. But like. It's the consent of the people who are like involved in like certain situations and that. That's just it. You gonna change names and situations? Yeah, I have to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't like you know what I'm saying? I have to. Okay. All right. That's just what yeah. it is. But like, yeah, the idea has been sparked in my head for sure. Yeah. I think niggas would be real gay. Niggas if don't they steal keep, that shit either. If they keep all the same the fuck names. I'm talking about. No <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> if niggas keep all the same names, that'd be gangsta as fuck. I mean, I would, but like, I know certain niggas oh, like. That's a documentary, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do nah, that, it's a not a documentary. That's a documentary. Uh, it's it's, it's like, half and half. It's half and half. It's like, a, it's, a, it's like a visual on? memoir. 
Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not a, a documentary would be somebody else making kind of like a reenactment and, and just a dialogue of what happened to you. Right. It wouldn't be a documentary. Like, uh, it would, yeah, it would basically be like a visual memoir, nigga, on some shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Hell yeah. Hey, now, nah, yeah, I've been, I've been plotting on that. I just want to get these next few, few years out to get all these music and shit out, and then after that, I'm going straight into that. Okay. Sure. I like I've that. been plotting on that. If you need a narrator, there's so, man, there's so many me, avenues man. I've already been yeah, plotting yeah, yeah. on. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I don't want to give out too much because you know niggas like to steal ideas and shit. Or I'm hip. Shit down, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I'm hip. Yeah. Yeah, That's you, why I'm glad I came out with y'all gonna see it though. First, so, some some of them ideas are gonna come to flourish like literally within the next six months. So like, for sure, I like that, man. Hell yeah! All right, bro. Well, anything else you want to leave the people with, man? I know you got to get up out of here, man. Yeah, not for sure. Um, yeah. Project end of this month on the 29th. Next week, got the show Boston Richie. Okay. Um, he a rat, right? Yo, bro. Yeah, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> Why he say that, gang? Like, that's not, he's not a rat? That's what happened. Why is he not a rat? Boston Richie. I don't know why his name Baltimore. He I'm gonna ask him that when I see him. No like, bullshit. Yeah, I, mean, I really want to go rat, right? Yeah, I just want to know where he came up with that name. <laughs> from, nigga said, right? "Why he yeah. say that?" Because <laughs> Boston <laughs> niggas want to know so bad. Like, yeah. Like, and I feel like there's gonna be a lot of niggas who approach him about that. Yeah, like, yo, mad Boston niggas who just want to see if he got a chain that says Boston on did it. He like Boston and if he George. Do, they that want much? that. Did he like Boston George that much that he just wanted to name Was himself Boston, Boston Richie? Yeah, he ratted to it. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Yo, these niggas is crazy, gang. Yo. Yo, turn their mics off, nigga. Yo. Yo, these man, niggas yo, is man, crazy. Look, that was this, that wasn't what I was looking for. I was just saying, like, yo, you know, I was trying to figure out the Boston shit. You know what I mean, I was trying to figure out the Boston shit. Yeah. But yeah, he from he from the south, right? He from Texas. Texas. Right? Somewhere in Texas, I, bro. I don't. I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, he know. from New Boston. Hey, look, that ain't got nothing he to do from, with you. You just open it for the nigga, bro. That's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I ain't on you, nigga. Like I'm just saying, nigga. Like you know what I mean? I feel you. Bro. Opportunity's like, opportunity, my nigga. <laughs> my mind just went there. My bad, bro. My fault, gang. Like I ain't even. I mean, I get you in a weird but, situation. Nah, yeah, yo, get yo, that back, like, bro. New merch dropping soon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, new projects, new music, all of that. You know, 2024, I'm excited for. Yeah. Let's end this year off strong. Shout out to y'all. Hope y'all win y'all award at the BMAs. Appreciate you, bro. Um, Dragon rice. Hope you, you voted for niggas. I mean, you know how I feel about them. So. You just got to vote for niggas, dog. Fuck how you feel about I voted for y'all last year, no cap. I mean, hey. The year ain't then yet. You right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You right, you right. My nigga. Right. It's just a flick of the finger, no boss. Just a flick of the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Facts, but... Um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that, you know? I mean, I'm oh, excited to see what happens, man, because oh, yeah, we... Yeah. Oh, go ahead. What happened? Nah, yeah. Because nah, we I'll, always I'll, throw I'll it up panicking. for G.O.D., man. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Nah, but, I appreciate y'all support, bro. Don't nah, bullshit, for real, bro. You always show love, bro. No bullshit. You getting bars, though, right? Huh? huh? You getting bars? I'm fucking with y'all. You want to ask me an infamous question, man? What? Oh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> you know what CWTV stand for? Now I'm really asking. You know what CWTV stand for? Damn. Uh, I'll put you on the spot. Nigga, hold on, hold on. He hold on, got to look at it. He got to sound it out. Charlie will <laughs> <laughs> Yo. try to fuck your bitch. Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> why would you say that? Know, why, why would you say that? <laughs> That's what I said. Like. Why would you say that? <laughs> what does it really stand for, though? No bullshit. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Listen, 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 listen. Why, 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 why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why would you We got to do this, <laughs> Hey yo, you know what CWTV stand for? Bro, explain. <laughs> it's choose what the yo, hey, it's choose, it's what, choose the what the future brings. What the future brings? What does it bring? <laughs> you tell me you what tell does it mean me, to bro. you? That's like that's that's when you hear that. But um future brings <laughs> money success and haterism and you know violence 
Not fucking with you the violence part unless we take it to it. So like, <laughs> I was gonna say it's not, it's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was like, you just missing taxes. <laughs> yeah, back. That's that too. Back. Y'all niggas pay y'all taxes, oh, man. That God. shit ain't no fucking joke. No oh, God. Shit. God. I'm, I'm already. Them niggas be it's after the, niggas. It's the first year I had to pay tax. I was like, nah, I hit the wrong button. I'm already. <laughs> I, had to, I had to call it back. Uh, hell. <laughs> Yeah. I answered, they're like, what does that box say? I was like, yeah. there you go. What does that other box say? There you go. <laughs> yes, sir. That, those numbers are correct. No, bitch. It's saying I owe you money. Yeah. <laughs> I never had this. Yeah. Like, what? You nah, want money from who? Yeah. <laughs> so I ain't pay that year. Wow. So I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna just see what happens next year. You better pay that shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, god damn. Hey, but shit. Bro. That's crazy. This was fun, man. We have my yeah. man G.O.D. in the building, man. Gang, yo. gang. Yo. You know that's always love, my boy. Facts. Um, I I'm appreciate y'all having me. You know what I'm saying? You know that, man. Hell always. Yeah. You always welcome here, bro. Like, this is, I mean, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I'm, I mean, I'm, next I'm year. I'm going to be looking for the review. You know what I'm saying? Top of next year. Yeah. Actually, not next top year. next year. End of this year. Yeah. I mean, you get nice. So. The EP, we're going to rate the EP for yeah. sure. Yeah, and you if you say some foul shit, I'm coming back, nigga. It ain't me. It ain't me. It's Gina. Yo, look. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to her. No Shout out to Gina, <laughs> man. You know I, mean? I, I wanted to see how she would have made this conversation. Yeah, 110%. Tonight, yeah, yeah, that you know, would have been bullshit. funny tonight, man. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Either way, man. I'm For Charlie sure. Machine. It's my right hand man, Cash No More Fucking Sense, man. Party, we have man. my man G.O.D. in the building, man. We love y'all. Uh -huh. And we out of here, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck would she have said?